Hey everyone, it's Succulents Box. In this video, we'll be talking about aerial roots on succulents. Is it a good thing or a bad thing? And do we need to remove them? Let's check it out. Part one, what are aerial roots and what do they do to your succulents? If you have been into succulents for a while, maybe you've noticed that some of the succulents have very thin strings growing out of their stems. These pink or white strings are called aerial roots and they are thinner than normal plant roots. Don't panic if you see aerial roots on your succulents. Your succulents are still healthy and will just require a bit more attention than usual. In fact, they have a lot of functions to help your plants out as they grow. Helping with air exchange is one example. Aerial roots have small pores to help succulents absorb nutrients in the air and take in more air as needed. This is very helpful for those with waterlogged soil. Another good thing about aerial roots is that they can help with propagation. If you cut a piece from a trailing succulent like burrow's tail or string of pearl to propagate, aerial roots will help the new cutting absorb nutrients and moisture right away. Offsets from succulents like Mother of Thousand can also develop aerial roots, and when the offsets fall off, they will propagate very easily. Other than helping with air exchange and propagation, aerial roots can also act as anchors to maintain the stability of the succulent. When your succulents don't receive enough sunlight, they will stretch out and become leggy and top heavy. This is when aerial roots come in handy as they can grow downwards until making contact with the soil to support the weaker stems and stabilize the succulents. Part two, how to prevent aerial roots from growing. Even though aerial roots are basically harmless and are meant to help your succulents, sometimes they are indications that your succulent needs more care. If you don't like the look of aerial roots, there are a few things you can do to take care of your succulents and prevent these roots from growing. Underwatering is one reason why succulents have aerial roots. To prevent them from developing aerial roots due to underwatering, make sure you follow the correct watering instructions. A general rule of thumb when watering your succulents is to do so every 7 to 10 days during the growing season. During dormancy, cut the amount of water they receive by half as your succulents won't need as much water while they're dormant. The best watering method is to soak and dry. To do this, simply soak your succulent in water and drain well. Then let it completely dry out between waterings. Don't forget to water directly into the soil, not on the leaves and always use a well-draining porous soil mix. A humid condition is one reason why succulents grow aerial roots to get more air and water from the environment. You should keep in mind that succulents are desert plants and they like to be in dry climates. An increase in humidity may lead to root rot as the water may stay too long in the soil. To avoid this, it's best to transfer your succulent to a pot where they can get better airflow and less humid. We all know that lack of sunlight will cause your succulents to stretch and become top heavy with spaced out leaves. Now, if this happens, your succulents may also form aerial roots. In fact, the roots won't be absorbing anything from the air. They grow to support the plant in case thin stems fall off. You can prevent this by checking the light condition frequently and adjusting your plant's spot accordingly. Make sure your succulent has enough bright, indirect sunlight. Part 3. Removing Aerial Roots Aerial roots can look lovely at first, but if you don't like their appearance or, or if they're bushy in an ugly kind of way, you can snip them off carefully using scissors. You can also pull them off with tweezers. And that's about all for aerial roots and how to deal with them. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please press like and subscribe for more videos like this. If you've got any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. Happy gardening! For more, you can find us at succulentsbox.com or on YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest.